যুক্তরাজ্যে নিউজ পোর্টাল জিবি GB News viewers, we are saying please vote, make sure your voice is heard on the 23rd of June and vote for us to stay in the European Union. The argument is overwhelming. Economically, it is best for British workers and businesses. From a security point of view, all the security experts are saying we should stay in the European Union. But if you are also concerned, not only with the impact here at home but abroad, for every pound in development aid that the British government channels through the European Union, it is matched by six pounds from other member states. So not only can you deliver the goods at home, you can actually also help people abroad. Vote remain, vote for us to stay in the European Union on the 23rd of June. Now to vote. And whatever side people fall on this, I would really urge capital without free movement of labour. And you do not resolve uh, a problem around migration by by uh, the more people who look like the people on this stage can come into our country is for the birds. I just ask your viewers to reflect on that. Do they really believe all these people want us to come in, come out of the European Union? So the thing that you talked about our public services, let's be clear about that. The net contribution is 36% more than they take out <coughs> from the system, EU citizens. And let's actually look at the NHS going. If they all went, the NHS would not be able to cope on any measure. And you can just ask the head of the NHS that. Now, the reason that we have struggles... In ...decisions that have been made by the Tory government in the last parliament and in this one. One, on family visas. When we actually, if you look at the hand side of what happened in parliament, how many concerns we raised from the Labour Party, and how we had in our own manifesto that we would review the family visa arrangement. They have not committed to this. And whatever they say, you ask, you should ask Priti Patel what she has done while she has been a minister <laughs> to change some of the rules and to change them around the shortage uh, issue uh, for those in, who are coming with shares. When we had our policy at the last election of giving opportunities for short-term visas and then allowing that time to have an apprentice here and do that training. We recognise the issue, we had a policy response to it. You have to really go back and probe on this because the reality the question is vital we remain in the European Union for the jobs and prosperity and the security that we have in Britain, not just today but for tomorrow. This is a debate that will have consequences when we come to cast our vote. It's vital for the future of our young people, for them in Britain to have access to every opportunity that young people across Europe will have. And not just for them, but for their children too. That's why I hope when it comes to the European Union referendum, people will have their voice heard and make sure it's heard, not just for today, but a voice of support for Britain's prosperity tomorrow. Uh, that has very little to do with the European Union. If the British government wanted to introduce a system to bring people in to address the labour shortage in that industry or others where there's a gap, they can. If we can't find people within the European Union, uh, they can do it elsewhere. And there's obviously a distinctive issue here. Uh, but the idea that that should be the basis on which the British Asian community should be voting on the European Union is a very dangerous position to take and I would urge uh, cha media channels to take care in how they present this debate so it doesn't become all about one industry. And there are certain industry leaders who are pushing for that because they support Brexit and they are using the, their position, uh, it, their leadership positions to make that argument and capital without free movement of labour. And you do not resolve uh, a problem around migration by... by uh... ...is that if they stay in, they will be pushed further to the back of the job scheme.